Hi, welcome to the fifth tutorial video of Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, we are going to discuss Razor Tool and some other editing tools of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. In our daily life we use Razor for cutting objects, the Razor works the same. It's used for cutting clips in Premiere Pro. For example, if I select Razor Tool from my toolbar, I can select Razor Tool by clicking on the C button on my keyboard. This is the video file that we have practiced in our previous class. Now at 17 seconds, the car is going out of frame. I don't need this extra part in my video. I can trim this part by using selection tool. But for this function, we can also use the razor tool. I will select my razor tool, and then I will split my clip at this point. And then I will delete it. Now you might have a question, if we can do this process, by using selection tool then, why do we have a razor tool? Razor tool is very useful in different situations. For example, I am putting this simple graphic over my video file. And now I want to trim both clip and graphic at 17 seconds. I can trim both layers at one time using the selection tool. Let's say I don't want to trim the layers, I just want to split them. Then I will drag my mouse to 17 seconds, and then I can split the layers one by one using the razor tool. Or I can split all my layers at one time using the razor tool. Simply drag the mouse pointer to the exact point, then press the shift button from your keyboard, and then click on the layers. All layers will be split at one time. Then I can delete it. For cutting clips we can use shortcut keys from our keyboard. For example, if I want to split this clip from here, I will drag my mouse pointer here, then I will use Ctrl plus K buttons from my keyboard. This will split the layer that we have selected. If we have not selected any layer then it will split the layer which we have selected recently. If we press Ctrl plus Shift plus K, then it will split all my layers. Razor tool is used for cutting the clips and media, because sometimes the selection tool cannot trim the video files. For example, I don't need this part of the video, I want to remove the video from 3 seconds to 6 seconds. Then I cannot trim this video using selection tool. So I will simply select razor tool, and will split my clip at 3 seconds. Then I will split it again at 6 seconds using shift to cut all my layers. Then I will delete this part of the video. And will attach the rest part, to the beginning part. And boom this is our resultant video. This is not something professional, but we have learned how it works. Razor is one of the most important tool in Premiere Pro, and it can be used in many more situations, where all other tools are useless. For example, if I undo my changes. Remember we can undo our changes using the Ctrl plus Z keys from our keyboard. Let's say I want to increase the speed of only 5 seconds at the beginning of the video, and then I want to decrease the speed of the video from 5 to 10 seconds. And then I want to increase the speed from 10 to 15 seconds. And I want to delete the rest part. For this, I will split my video clip at 5 seconds. Then I will increase the clip speed using the rate stretch tool. I can increase the speed using speed and duration as we have discussed in our previous class. Now I will split my clip at 10 seconds. And then at 15 seconds. I will delete the extra part of the video. 
Now at this clip, I will put my speed as 75% because I want to play this part in slow motion. And lastly, I will keep my speed at 200% for this clip. Now I will attach all these clips to each other using selection tool. Now let's watch the video. This is something that we have tried. Razor is a very important tool I hope you have learned it. Our next tool is the slip tool. A slip tool is used for slipping the media or the frames of the clip. For example, I have this clip and I don't want to change its duration or speed. The clip starts from this frame. I want to start it from the beginning from our first frame. Let me show you in my source window. I want to play this clip from this frame and in timeline, it's playing from this frame because we have trimmed the first part. But I don't want to change the duration or speed of the video. For this, I can select selection tool. And then, I will drag the clip to the left to start it from the first frame. And then I will trim the video from the end to keep the duration the same as 11 seconds. For this situation, we have a slip tool. If I undo my changes and select my slip tool from the toolbar, or I can select it by pressing the Y button from my keyboard. I will simply select my clip and will drag it to the right. On the program window, you will see two different thumbnails. First thumbnail will show the first frame where the video starts, and the last thumbnail will show the last frame of the clip where the video ends. This tool will slip the frame of the video to the left and right keeping its duration the same. Our next tool is slide tool. Slide tool is used for sliding the clips. For example, I have another sequence here. I want to change and reduce the duration of the first clip and want to increase the duration of the third but don't want to change the duration of the second. I will select the selection tool and will reduce the duration of the first clip and then I will slide my second clip to the left and again I will increase the duration of the third clip. This is so irritating right? For this we have a smart tool called slide tool. If I select the slide tool and drag my clip to left, it will decrease the duration of the first clip, the second clip will not be affected, and the duration of the third clip will be increased. The difference between the rolling edit tool and the slide tool is that, the rolling edit tool will decrease the duration of the second clip, and will increase the duration of the third clip or first clip. While the slide tool will not affect the second clip, it will decrease the duration of the first clip by sliding it to the left. If slide to right it will decrease the duration of the third clip and will increase the duration of the first clip. And the selected clip will not be affected. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you have learned these tools. See you in the next class. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.